Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the specified module could not be found while installing DirectX, any game or any software in your Windows 10 and in Windows 11 PC. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and fix out the problem. In basic troubleshooting steps, head over to your settings menu, choose Windows Update and if any update is pending at your end, make sure you choose the option download now to make sure that your windows is up to date. Simply updating windows will fix out this issue for some of the users. Now the specified module could not found error encountered again. Let's proceed with the second step. Click on the start menu and type run. Open run command and type here reg edit and then hit the enter key. Now in registry editor first of all click on the file menu and choose the option export. Save it in your desktop. To make sure if anything goes wrong you can easily restore these registry files by again clicking on the file button and choose the option import and by providing the file over here. Now here in address bar you need to paste a path. I will share this path to copy and paste right over here by pressing the control V button and then hit the enter key. Now here you will find two files with the name run and run once. Right click on each of the file and choose the option delete. First one is run and second one is run once. Right click and delete. Now here is the second path. Copy the path and paste right in the address bar and then hit the enter key. Here again you will find two files. First one is run. Right click and choose the option delete. Second one is run once. Right click and choose the option delete. Once done, close your registry editor and restart your system and this will fix the corrupted registries and you will not again encounter the error. The specified module could not be found. Now if the error still persists, let's proceed with the third step. Click on the start menu and type cmd. Run cmd as an administrator. Here type a command which is sfc space slash. Scan now and then hit the enter key. This command will take up to 10 minutes to finish scanning the complete system and repairing the system files of your windows pc. Once it is 100% completed, I will go ahead and close it because I am going to provide you a demo only. Again, run cmd as an administrator and this time type second command which is dism space slash online space slash cleanup image space slash restore health and then hit the enter key again. Make sure you wait for this command to complete it and once both the commands are completed dism as well as sfc scan now. You need to restart your system to make the changes taken place. After that, you will not be encountered with the error the specified module could not be found while installing DirectX or any other software. However, if the error still persists, the last hope we have is to reset this PC option by heading over to your settings menu, scroll down and you need to choose the option recovery. Here you will find the option of reset this PC, click on the option reset PC. Choose the option keep my files so that you will not lose any file of yours. Now choose the option local reinstall over here. Now here click on the next button. This process will take up to 30 minutes to completely finish. Now you can see the system is ready to reset and it is showing that all the settings will be back to default. and. It will only remove the apps that are installed in your system means that are installed in your system C drive and you can see the list of applications also by clicking on that particular link. Now once you click on the reset button your PC will reset and it will take around 30 minutes to completely resetting your system and this will fix the error the specified module could not be found in your Windows 10 and Windows 11. So this is all about it friends this is how you can fix the error of specified module could not be found. If this video works out for you and you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue watching 
to continue getting notifications of my videos and keep watching Lotus Geek.